Hi, my name is Rodney Arand and I'm from OTS Training. In this video I'm going to show you how to add a new page to your WordPress site and expand upon that page with subpages. Pages are used for content that doesn't change or changes infrequently. Subpages are used to organize hierarchical content. A Contact Us page is an example of a page on a typical website. In most cases you'll find that the content in a Contact Us page doesn't change all that frequently. An example of subpages is found in this faculty member's website. Notice their individual web pages for each course that is taught. Let's begin by creating a new page. Hover over New in the Admin Toolbar. When the drop down menu appears, click on Page. Under Add New Page, click in the Enter Title Here area and type your title of the page. Next you'll click in the body of the page. You'll type your content or copy and paste from a document. Click the Publish button located in the Publish section on the right side of the screen. Once your page is published, the View Page hyperlink will appear. Click it to view your new page. You'll notice that a new tab was added to your navigation bar. This happens every time you add a new page. It's important that you don't add too many standalone pages in order to avoid clutter on your navigation bar. The best way to do this is to add subpages. So let me take a moment to explain what subpages are and show you what they'd look like on your WordPress site. Subpages are used to organize hierarchical content. For example, a WordPress site for a faculty member may have an individual page for each course that is taught. In that example, the different courses taught are listed under the Courses link on Subpages. Notice multiple courses listed under the Courses tab. The listed courses are subpages of the Courses page. The Courses page itself may have a general description of what courses are taught or links to the subpages for additional accessibility. Each course would then have its own subpage with a more detailed description. The individual course subpage may include links to the syllabus and give more detailed information specific to that course. Subpages may also be used in an organization site to categorize like items. In this example, each journal issue has its own subpage. Now that we know what subpages are used for, let's go ahead and create a subpage on our site. We'll create two subpages under the courses link. Hover over New in the Admin Toolbar again and choose Page. This page will be one of our courses that we're teaching this semester. In the title area, add the name of your course. You could also use an abbreviation. In the body area, type any relevant information about the course, course requirements, or a course description. On the right hand side, notice the Page Attributes section. This is where you'll make a new page a subpage. There are two areas we'll cover in this video, Parent and Order. The Parent section determines which page will house the subpage. For this example, choose Courses. Our new page is now a subpage of Courses. This means that when we move our mouse over Courses, this page will appear as a drop down menu. The Order section determines the position in which the page will appear in the drop down menu. We want this course to be first in the drop down menu, so we'll put a 1 under Order. Once the page attributes are set, click Publish in the top right corner of the screen. Repeat these steps for your second course. Because this is your second course under the Courses tab, your Order under Page Attributes will be 2, making it the second page in the drop down menu. Another Publish and your new subpage is created. When you view your website, hover over Courses. A drop down menu will appear with both courses you've just created. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us at towson.edu forward slash OTS training.